And for the third result, na no, binibigay din ito ni Pomcom, yung mga matrices na meron tayo. Like the F matrix, the B matrix, the F A matrix, 0.95, 0.05, 0.8, and 0.2. As you can see, ito po yan no, sa ating absorbing state na table. Parehong pareho lang. Okay? Yes, hello everyone! Welcome to our last presentation regarding the Markov theory, which is the application of the absorbing state model in our software, which is the POMQM or sometimes called POMCOM software. Okay, so absorbing state model, model number three, the absorbing state model is a process where there is no choice as to what state one can go. No, wala siyang choice. Uh, isa lang and yun na yun. Now, unlike sa before natin, equilibrium conditions model, na pwedeng mag-jump yung mga ating mga probabilities from one state to another. Mag-iba-iba yung mga values nila ng probability. So, ayun yung pinagkaiba nitong absorbing state model. This is the best presented, this is best presented in the aging process of accounts. So, here we are. We have here our uh, visualization regarding our example, which is all about the Sky Cable. So, Harvey is the chief accountant of Sky Cable and he wants to know the collection efficiency of the company. He was able to determine the actual collection and aging schedule of accounts receivables for the month of January and February. In the month of January, $300 was paid by clients, $100 was declared bad debt for being more than 3 months overdue, $400 was overdue less than 1 month, and $200 was 1 to 3 months overdue. The $300 paid in January is by default still paid the next month, of course. The $100 bad debt in January is also by default a bad debt the next month. Of the $400, which was less than one month overdue in January, $240 is paid, $80 is still less than one month overdue, and $480 is already one to three months overdue the next month. Of the $200, which was one to three months overdue in January, $80 is paid, $20 is already a bad debt, and $100 is still one to three months overdue the next month. Figures are summarized in the table on the next slide. The question here, guys, is how much is paid in the end? No, gaano yung, ga, gaano ka, laki yung amount na nabayaran at the end, and how much is the bad debt? Yung mga hindi nabayaran, which is uh, over three months overdue na. Okay? So, actually, in having an application sa POMQM, no, we still need to have our matrix of transition. So, ito yung ating uh, original na data, accounts table. And kung pabalikan ninyo, no, during the manual, we have computed here the value for the transition matrix or the matrix of transition na table natin. Here is our computation na no, pinapakita ko lang po sa inyo. Meaning to say, uh, you still need to have this first before going sa POMQM software. Dahil sa POMQM software po, ang kailangan mo na dun ilagay is yung values na ng transition matrix and not the raw data. Okay? That's why binalikan natin siya. Okay, anyway, so let's go now to our POMQM for you to know how to apply this in our software. <music> So here we are on our software and just like before, our first thing that needs to do is of course to set the software module into the Markov analysis. So just click module and Markov analysis, then file and new. So here we're going to have our title, lagyan na lang natin, sky cable. Okay, and the number of states is four. We have four states there, the paid, the bad, the less than one month, the one to three months. So let's have the year four. And then, okay. Actually, guys, you can rename this state. So what are our state there? We have paid. We have bad debt. We have less than one month. 
and we have one to three months. Okay, now, uh, for the input, for the initial, let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation. Ayan, ito ang mga yung magiging initial natin. Point three, point one, point four, and point two. Then, pababa doon sa software. Okay, so we have here 0 0.3. Okay, 0 0.1. 0 0.4 and 0 0.2. Okay, now for this part of the table naman, this is horizontal. So paid that is 1, 0, 0, and 0. So let's have it here. 1, oops, 1, 0, 0, and 0. For the bad debt, we have 0, 1, 0, and 0. We have 0, 1, 0, and 0. For the less than 1 month, guys, we have here 0 0.6, 0, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. So, 0 0.6, 0, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. Last row natin, 1 to 3 months, we have 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0, and 0 0.5. So, 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0, and 0 0.5. So, here's our final na input for this problem. So, upon, upon checking, kapag na-check nyo na na okay na, wala tayong mali na input, you can now click the button solve. And it will give you the ending probability, 0.84 for the paid, 0.16 for the bad debt. Meaning to say, 0.84% uh, of the total amount, which is, one, uh, sorry, uh, which is 1,000 rather doon sa ating raw data. Balikan natin para makita ninyo. So, ito, total, no, 1,000. Meaning to say, uh, 84% ang uh, probabilities na magkaroon pa tayo ng paid. No? And that is equivalent, of course, to $840. And 16% for the bad debt. And that is around $160. And actually, ayun din yung naging final answer natin. If titignan ninyo ang ating uh, final na absorbing state na table. No, ayun din siya. Ito, 840 and 160. So, aside dyan, no, magbibigay din actually si Pomcom Software na itong table na to. Ito yung klinaro ko sa ating manual computation. Now, we have absorbing state and the transient state. The less than one month and one to three months are both transient state dahil pwede silang magpalipat-lipat itong mga values dito. Pero yung paid and bad debt po, once kasi na they are categorized as paid na, hindi na yun pwedeng maging unpaid. No, unless may nangyaring kababalaghan financially doon sa corporation. Kaya siya absorbing. Same goes with the bad debt. No, kaya po siya absorbing. And for the third result, no, binibigay din ito ni Pomcom, yung mga matrices na meron tayo. Like the F matrix, the B matrix, the F A matrix, 0 0.95, 0 0.05, 0 0.8, and 0 0.2. As you can see, ito po yan no, sa ating absorbing state na table. Parehong, pareho lang. Okay? So, that ends up our application for the POMQM software on how we solve this Markov theory absorbing state model, which is the third model of the Markov theory na topic natin. Guys, this will be the last presentation for the OR2. And I'm really hoping na na-appreciate ninyo ang buong Operations Research natin from Operations Research 1 to Operations Research 2 from Basic to Advanced. No, if you, if it happens that sooner or later, naging OR practitioner kayo or analyst or OR engineer, you can actually chat me anytime. No, pag-usapan natin yan if you have questions regarding OR. So anyway, our recorded presentations naman is nandito lang din naman sa platform na to. So you can back, no, you can you can view it back anytime you want. Guys, I'm really hoping na na-appreciate ninyo ang OR, no, the beauty of OR and how it applies in the real world. Okay po, so this is the last presentation. Thank you very much for being with me for the whole semester and for the whole year from OR1 to OR2 kung meron man sa inyo dito na ganun. No? And keep safe always. No? Laging mag-iingat. And goodbye everyone.